Hey, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're gonna be going over the top secondary batteries for your ride. But first, Alright, so let's get into this. The top secondary batteries for your vehicle. This is going to ultimately depend on how much power you're running or you're trying to run. So we're going to go over a few different options. Um, we'll probably go over a few different lithium options and a few different AGM options. So you can have, um, I guess, the best of both worlds, whatever you want to do right there. So typically, the thing that we sell the most of the most popular is going to be our LTO 6.0, the down percent LTO 6.0, because most people are just trying to add two three maybe four thousand watts into their vehicle keep it simple and they want to have a good amount of uh, battery power to help with that two to four thousand watts of power that they're uh, adding the lto 6.0 is perfect for that so we sell a ton of these so that's going to be probably our most popular right there for that reason and also it can be added in like in um so the way that this would be installed is you got your alternator to your front battery which could be an agm whatever your factory battery is then you go back to your you'll hook this up in like right next to your amplifier so that's like this ties right in you don't have to do any um uh, isolators sorry i was having a brain fart so uh, you don't have to do any isolators or anything like that to run this so it's very very popular and also we ordered a lot more of them so we were able to get a better price on them Therefore, we brought the price down from $4.99 each to $3.99 each, so saving you a lot of money, and that has increased the amount of volume that we're selling to these like crazy. So passing on the savings to you guys so you can take advantage of that as well. The second most popular item is going to be the Down for Sound JP40. This is our new lithium battery. It's gonna be 40 amp hours LFP technology. When you run something like this, you cannot mix it with any other uh, lithium chemistries uh, or any other batteries. So what people do, you can mix it with a super cap, obviously, but not any other battery. So you wouldn't want to run an AGM and this battery together, no bueno. So uh, what people do is they will uh, delete, or they'll either do an underhood delete where they don't have any battery under the hood, and they'll just run one or two or four of these in the back for their to run their whole vehicle and their system off of. Or they'll run a super cap, like a, uh, I was gonna say a down for sound super cap bank, but uh, um, they'll run a excess power SB series uh, super cap bank under the hood because you can get them in like a SB34, which is gonna be your group 34 battery, which is most of what Chevy trucks come with under the hood. So it mounts right in there, you put it in, and you run the wires back to this battery and then those to your amps and you're gonna be golden. So. And this is going to be good for a lot more power. So this is going to be ranging from six to twelve thousand watts, depending on your alternator input. Whereas this one's going to be two to five thousand watts, depending on your alternator input. Uh, another couple of batteries that are very popular in the lithium uh, that people use for supplemental batteries is your excess power titanate batteries. Batteries. <laughs> Sound like I was hitting puberty again at thirty-eight. Anyway, your excess power Titan 8 batteries and then uh, your uh, limitless Cyber 12Ks uh, and Cyber 6Ks, those are very popular as well. So be sure to check all those out. We'll put them in the description below. So we're going to move over to the top three or four uh, excess power or, or AGM batteries. Since we sell excess power, we're going to reference that. For people that are going to be putting their uh, batteries inside their cab, like the XP series is not made to go under the hood or outside of the vehicle. So this is an XP 3000. It's gonna be your most popular supplemental battery. The only downfall to these is they're heavy. They're super heavy. This probably weighs 80 to 90 pounds. And this battery is twice, maybe three times as powerful as this battery and it's probably a quarter of the weight. So that's the difference in technology. But some people are really iffy about lithium. They, they're scared of it. So they want to run a tried and true AGM battery. And we got you right there. So the XP3000 is going to be the most, uh, most what? Most common? most commonly used battery in the AGM, um, in your supplemental battery addition in the back when you're adding multiples of them, one or more. Uh, the next ones that people will use is gonna be the Excess Power D3100. Very similar to this, it's just got um, better casing and uh, more heavy duty, so you could use a D3100 under the hood uh, or outside the vehicle. Some people make battery racks that go under their vehicle. You can use them wherever. 
Uh, the next one's gonna be the Excess Power D3400. The D3400s, they go in your factory locations for a lot of vehicles, including your Chevy uh, trucks. And uh, people use them in the back and they, they'll stack a bunch of them out together. Uh, so that's your XP3000, D3400, D3100. Um, and the I would say the number four is just because it's so massive is gonna be the Excess Power D7500. These batteries weigh over 100 pounds a piece. So uh, people that use these are going to be building a massive system and they're going to be adding a massive amount of weight with these D7500s. But anyway, that's going to be the top batteries to add as far as supplemental goes. So be sure to check those out in the description below and let us know in the comment section what batteries you use in your vehicle for supplemental battery power. I'd be interested in knowing and so would everybody else. Until next time, we'll see you. What's happening guys if y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video be sure to follow me on youtube facebook tiktok instagram under the life of price and also down for sound shop on facebook and instagram and don't forget snapchat i'm jpd4s on there so be sure to check me out there we'll see you in the next one later